of the day, put the house on it. We're going to go ahead and cover this one by 21 or better. That was them every single week, it seemed like, when they were at home. So those days are long gone, but it is what it is. But at one point in time, you would go to Seattle and you knew that you were going to be able to cash that ticket with Seattle. You know, it did not matter. Even if they got down in the game, they're going to figure out a way to win that game. So um, let's go ahead and jump into these final games. We got Sunday night football here. We got the Jets and the Raiders. And this has always been an NBC darling of a game. We know that the Heidi Bowl, you know, the Heidi Bowl. And hopefully they won't interrupt it with the movie this year because they don't show movies after the game anymore. They actually show post-game sports shows now so you know that those guys can always wait so you know how it goes but all in all with this one jeff you know what and i know you're gonna be like y'all and this that and the third the raiders to me right now if you're a raider fan it's hard to really like sit next to them right now because i don't like anything that's going on with this team I don't even care that they made that move with Josh McDaniels because at the end of the day, you still have that sorry ass owner. You know what I mean? And you're so busy trying to appease fans and trying to appease people that don't even buy season tickets anymore. And you're trying to appease people that, you know, pretty much are your fake friends and all this other stuff. And then, you know, you, you're not doing anything the Raider way. You're doing everything Hollywood now. And it's just, just the Raiders aren't the Raiders anymore. This is just a, a Las Vegas review show. That's it. And, you know, oh, we got the coach. I'm from Compton, blah, 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 blah. Bro, you coach Long Beach Poly and they missed the playoffs, dog. I don't trust you. That's a high school team, Jeff. Long Beach Poly is like the essence of high school football in in Southern California, in California. And you couldn't get them to the playoffs, and you think that you're going to be able to coach an NFL team up to a playoff spot? Get out of here. Just get out, you know. And then, you know, the his reactions are like a player, you know what I mean? So I just looked at it and I said, the Raiders are a team that's being ran by players right now and that does not bode success to me that just bodes everybody being happy you know what i mean everybody gets a piece of everybody uh everybody gets their way so everybody can like mark more and i don't like that i think that you got to have an iron fist because there were guys that aren't accountable and so now we're going to play football when you fire the coach, you're going to play good football. You're, you're not going to be a stupid, stupid ass bonehead anymore. You're not going to be dumb anymore. No, you're still going to be stupid. You just got another coach now. You know, the Raiders, it, you didn't fix the IQ of the Raiders. You know what I mean? And you got players coming in there complaining about Josh McDaniels. And you know, you should have cut their ass on Tuesday because they haven't been doing shit all season. Okay, Mark. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got the worst owner in the NFL. You got a joke of a coach, and you got a joke of a, a of a of, a, of players who really don't care. They they're all in the locker room smoking cigars and everything, treating the game like it was a Super Bowl. Jeff, dude, you beat the Giants, Doc. The Giants. Who the fuck are the Giants, Jeff? Seriously, they're two and seven. They're. They didn't even care after the second quarter. As soon as Dave Jones went out, they just said, fuck it. We'll be, we're all at Dre's later on tonight anyway. You know, hey, they don't care. So you be the team that do, doesn't care. But the Jets care. You know, so with that rant and all that stuff I just said, Jeff, I'm still going to go ahead and take the Raiders because they're at home. And, they're, and you know, they should win the game. This, this would probably be their last win of the season. So, you know, it's it's a party. You know, Jeff, you got to get into the party. Then the Raiders will, will, will fuck with your head, make it look like they're going to do something real, and then they'll fucking lose the next six in a row. You know, that's that's the, that's the Raiders for you. That's the Mark Davis way for you right there. You know, putting a Band-Aid on a broken radiator. So it is what it is. Jeff, go ahead. You know, I, I, I have to follow the Vegas <laughs> meeting, the sports, 
the sports book lead here, Bita. They got me with the banana on the tailpipe last week. I was on the Giants, and then we did the show last Tuesday. Well, obviously, you know, the firing of the coach and then <laughs> the return of Daniel Jones, the line didn't move, so I should have known right away. And then, of course, Daniel Jones goes out in the first quarter and the Raiders are smoking cigars in the locker room at the end of the game. Here, even after the Jets lose ugly, ugly to the Chargers, my true number was two and a half for the 35 and a half. The public's doing what they do best, Pops. Remember what they saw last and now it's down to one and a half soon to be one i like the jets here i like the jets to get back into the win column i'm not leaving any points on the desk i'm just taking the flat money line minus 135 uh, i think it's a big Brees hall day i i think i'll even go on record here he was stopped at the one uh yesterday the last play of the offense for the jets i think tyler conklin gets into the end zone as well. Look for Garrett Wilson to have a big day. Look for the Jets' defense to have a big day. I like them in this spot. Give me the Jets' money line, minus 135, Bobs. All right, Jeff taking the Jets, minus 135. You know what I mean? Jets got to get their revenge this week too. You know, I just took the Raiders because I was like, okay, Sunday night football, they're going to make it a good, nice review show, Tony Bennett style, you know, Crazy finish, you know, Jets going to play some great defense. Then the Raiders going to mess around and have some stupid miracle play and kick a field goal at the end to win the game or something like that. Or the Jets just come in here and beat them 17-zip, one or the other. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, this might be the best matchup the Jets defense has gotten the last few weeks. You're going against a quarterback that's below average. So, you know, at the end of the day, this really does feed into the Jets a bit better, and this can be one of Zach Wilson's better games as a pro as well, too, if you look at it all in all. Because when you really look at the playmakers on the Jets side, they are much better than what the Raiders have. Yeah, Devontae, you eating too much Taco Bell, but so that's why you're, you know, that's why you, you four catches 34 yards. You know what I mean? Stop eating. Lay off the Mexican pizzas, bro. No Mexican pizzas before the game. 